Hi guys, this is Damir and today I wanted to show you a nice little app that makes it so much more convenient to turn on and off your device and it's really helpful in daily life. Let's get started. Okay, before I will go into the app itself, I want to quickly show you how the app works and what it does. And watch carefully, I will try to do the whole video without even having to touch the power button once. Okay, let's turn on the device first. The device is turned on. So how can you turn it off? The first thing would be table mode. Just light flat on the table and after one and a half seconds about that it will turn off again. So if you want to turn it on what can you do? First thing just swipe over the proximity sensor. That is one way. The next thing you can now turn it off is pocket mode. If you just simulate a pocket now and it will turn off. Now it's in your pocket and you want to turn it back on just take it out and it will turn on. This is because of the proximity sensor is blocked and once it's unblocked it will turn on. So we have the pocket mode that turns it off, take it out of the pocket, turns it on. If you lay it down, table mode, it turns off. Okay, another method to turn it off is just laying it face down on your table. It is actually off and I can show you this right now just by blocking the proximity sensor you see it didn't turn on because Normally, if you just have it on the table and you pick it up, it will turn on automatically. That's a pretty nice and easy solution because you don't have to bother about any power button. It's off, it's on. And this goes quicker than you would ever be possible because usually I always pick up my device like this. And now I have it this, this way in my hand and the power button is up here. So what I would have to do is stretch up all the way to turn it on. And I really can't put, take it up this way to hit the button. I always do it like this and I don't have to bother about anything anymore. I turn it off, it's off. I put it in my pocket, it's off. It's on, I put it on the table, it's off. Yes. I really think this app and the way it handles all the turning on and turning off is a, such an extremely awesome solution because you don't even have to bother about the power button. Maybe if you want to spare it or just don't want to use it, there are some devices like HEC devices will have it up here and there it's even more inconvenient. And I'm really no big fan of the Nexus 5 power button placement, but just because of this app I don't have to bother about it anymore. I don't have to use it to turn it on or turn it off. It does all for me itself. So if you have a device that has a power button pretty bad as I think it is on the Nexus 5 or maybe on the HTC devices where it's up there, you don't really have to bother about it anymore. It's the best solution. You don't have to reach for any buttons anymore. You don't have to turn it on, turn it off. You don't have to think about it. Just when you, when you need to use a device, it is always there. So this is what the app can do and how it works. Now let's dive into the settings and show you real quick what else is there. Okay, now let's dive into the app and see what options we've got here. The app is called Gravity Screen. There's a pro version and the free version. The free version does mostly what it needs to and you, all, you only have to use the pro version if you want to customize some things. The first thing you will see is the pocket sensor I've already shown you. You have the any direction option. The next thing would be the table sensor which lets you set a value for the degree to turn off the device. Then you have turn screen off by proximity, turn screen on by proximity. Then you also have some motion options to turn the screen on, but these consume more battery because the accelerometer has to be on standby while the device is turned off. So that's why I don't use it. If you have a device with a big battery and you want to use it, you can, but I think the proximity sensor does all it needs to very well, so there's not really a need for that. You also have options to keep screen on by motion. This means if it would time out, you just have to slightly shake it and it will stay on. The next thing would be alternative proximity method. Then there's a turn off method that's also experimental. You have a vibration option, headphone support, disable the lock screen, notification and startup on boot. But I think the most useful and convenient one are the pocket sensor, the table sensor and the turn screen on by proximity. Of course we have to tinker a bit with all the options to 
customize it to, to your likings. So all in all, I highly recommend this app if you want to spare your power button or if you don't like where it's placed and don't want to reach for it or if you just are looking for a more convenient solution to turn on and off your device. It's really helpful and convenient. Since I have it, I don't even know if I use the power button anymore because I don't see any use for it. Because whenever I just pick up the device or want to do anything, it's already on. So no need to turn it off or on anymore. This is why I really like this app and I really highly recommend it. So if you like this app, if you like the review, please give me a thumbs up, reshare this video and subscribe to my channel. So far, till next time, I'll be back.